Hi, welcome to Faith Arise Ministries, and I want to thank each and every one of you for praying for our First Nations people of Canada. I am so excited. I am back here in Thunder Bay. I was here in May, and we did a whole Women's Weekend with a bunch of ladies, and I'm just so encouraged. And uh, today we're having this Coliseum Aboriginal Day event, and I'm just so blessed and very touched by these precious ladies here who are standing up to make a difference for their people. And today we have Ida Fiddler. Ida Fiddler. And Leanne Fiddler. And Leanne Fiddler. And who else is also on your team? Megan Anschnab is a writer and she's 20 years old. And also Craig Mikas and Jordy Mikas from here. Wow. And the purpose of this Ride for Hope, Precious Ones, they are doing a Ride for Hope. Why are you doing a Ride for Hope? Uh, we want to spread awareness for oxycontin abuse in Canada. An aftercare program in San Diego, Ontario, because we have a lot of people that are addicted to prescription drugs. Mm -hmm. An aftercare program, and, and what if you don't mind me asking, would that cost a lot? Probably, can you, do you have an idea of what that it, would cost? It would cost a lot, yes. Yes, and we're asking for donations. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Awesome. And do you yourself? Did you ever struggle with the same problem? Or? Yes, I did. Yes. I am an addict. And I know firsthand how it feels like to struggle with that drug. I'm gonna win. And I'm in recovery. Right Are you in recovery? Yeah, no. Give me a high five. This is so amazing. I love it because I remember the day when I struggled with cocaine. And all of a sudden, I went back to school and became a massage therapist and thought, if I want to help other people here heal, I got to heal myself. And this is what these precious ladies are doing. They're seeing the problem and they're moving forward into the solution. And they're saying, you know what? I got a problem and I'm going to do something about it. And not only am I going to help me, but I'm going to help everybody else around me. And that's what's so precious about this moment. And I just bless you, you and your team. And I want to encourage you that these precious ones are going to do it. They are going to make it. And I want to encourage every one of you who is watching this video, cheer these precious daughters on, encourage them, and stand in the gap and pray for them. Speak words of life to them because they are life changers. They are making a difference here in the nation of Canada. And get ready because many of our First Nations people are rising up. Amen. So I want to say thank you for praying. I want to say thank you so much. Tell us where Sandy Lake is, by the way. It's northwestern Ontario. It's north of Kenora. It's north of Kenora. And how many people in your community? We have like over 2,000 people. 2,000. And how many are struggling with this problem? Over 400 people. 400 people, precious ones, you are hearing this cry. And it's my prayer that you, as you stand in the gap, prayer changes things, and that 400 people is gonna come down to a zero because these girls got the power. These girls got the power. And I just pray blessing over each and every one of you. So God bless you, we love you, and thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye.